Good morning, lovely lights. I am here. I found this lovely. It's five sage goddess rituals in under five minutes. So how can you become a sage goddess in under five minutes? Let's figure out. Number one, when you wake up, declare your intention for the day out loud and to the universe and to your guides. So your intention of the day, whatever it may be, and in your intention is what comes from deep down it's not just like a superficial thing it's like what is your real intention and say it out loud like today universe i declare a day of love and peace and me i'm actually smudging my house so i declare a day of removing bad energy from my from my home and from myself so because we all get this negative energy built up somewhere think of your emotions come up like you're getting you get like really angry and pissed out of nowhere you're so annoyed and you don't know what's happening to you and it just comes up and it like festers and then all of a sudden it's gone like where where does it go I think it gets stuck it gets stuck in our bodies and we get aches and pains and it gets stuck in our house so let's today we're gonna clean our house we're gonna rid ourselves from all of that number two is close your eyes and take seven deep breaths one for each chakra to balance your energy system. So seven deep breaths, starting at your root chakra all the way down. Breathe in red and bring it down to your trusting chakra. Blow it out and breathe in a nice deep breath through the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. Breathe in orange to your sexual chakra and your creative chakra. Blow it out, then breathe in your solar plexus oh, and that's yellow breathe in yellow to your wisdom and blow it out in your power to your powerhouse and then breathe in green to your heart chakra your healing and your love chakra and breathe it out and then breathe in light blue to your throat chakra your communication chakra and blow it out and then breathe in violet to your intuition to your third eye and blow it out and then breathe in last breath you can do gold or white whatever color suits you into your crown chakra to your spiritual chakra and breathe it out so seven deep breaths just connecting all of your chakras together and then the third one is to smudge yourself and I've never done this before but I'm going to give it a try it's just to smudge yourself from head to toe with sage. And I got this lovely sage, and it is a white sage. And this is also known as a grandmother sage, and it has been used by Native Americans for thousands of years for cleansing and protection. It can be used in rituals or simply for the pleasure of its fragrance. To use light, the tip of the smudge stick, wait a moment, blow out the flames, fan the embers lightly, and keep smoldering. And you also, when you're smudging, you want to use something to collect the dust and ashes and be careful because it's fire. But if you don't have um, a smudger, um, a sage stick, which most people don't, um, you can also just remove bad energy from within. And I actually did this this morning. So I actually went on YouTube and I put um, cleansing or healing frequencies in and I just sat um, in quiet and I put a hand on my heart and one on my tummy because it's connecting your your chakras and just your your insides together and I just just took some nice deep breaths and I just said I release any bad energy out of my body and I release and then I just kind of did this and it was crazy <laughs> just doing that I just released it and I feel like I released it into my house so I need to release it more but open a window and just like you can really feel it just like release it just if you're feeling pain anywhere in your body it's just some bad energy that you have holding on to so just like like in your back just like get rid of it get out of your bad energy and so I'm gonna try this smudging and see how it goes so this was step three and let's give it a try so we're gonna light a match and then we're going to over here carefully who doesn't want to go it's repelling the smudge, this sage. My house knows that it needs to be smudged, so let's say, hmm. Now we're gonna gently light. And I've never done this, but let's give it a go. Oh, it smells lovely. 
and if you live, I live in Colorado, so there's like sage everywhere. And it's kind of like supposed to, I think, stay kind of lit and then you, and then you just smudge. So what do I, I smudge myself. I clear negative energy from my body. Ooh, it smells really crazy. I've never smelled that before. It is nuts around them. I clear bad energy from my body. So I'm just going to do this all over. Hello toes. I clear any bad energy. It is crazy. This reminds me of super like craziness. I clear bad energy from my body and I'm going to clear my room. I'm going to put this out so I can do the rest of my room. That is nuts. Crazy. Mm, thank you. I clear bad energy from my body. Clear and release. Transmit into the universe. So then the fourth step to the five steps of becoming uh, a sage goddess are bless your food with gratitude to absorb the highest vibrations of its nutrients. So every time you eat, just give gratitude to your food. I always say thank you to my food and you know, it's just like a form of prayer. If you say prayer to whoever you pray to, just thank your food, like thank you so much food or before I drink my water or my tea, I just say thank you tea. Thank you, T. And then before you fall asleep, step five of becoming a lovely sage, sage goddess is before you fall asleep, visualize the cords connecting you to everyone that you met today. So visualize the energy and the connection that you had with everybody today um, and send energy back to them. So everyone you met today or since this morning, just I visualize just like a sunbeam beaming out and connecting to everyone that you met to and then they send their energy back to you and it's just all about love. So those are your lovely five steps to becoming a sage goddess. So just take your time in the morning, wake up, say your intention. I actually also give gratitude in the morning. I don't just say my intention because I feel like it's more of a taking thing. So I just say thank you, like thank you bag, thank you feet for walking, thank you tea, thank you water. So I would say thank you for some, I would add that to this because I just found this on Pinterest, which it's really adorable. I'll show it to you. It's, it just caught my attention. It's five sage goddess rituals in under five minutes, which is adorable. Whoever made that, good job. It's adorable. And it is lovely. So do that and take your seven deep chakra breaths. And that's also just kind of connecting you to yourself, to your inner self. And then just ridding yourself from, from negative energy. Just I... I rid you of negative energy. I like to also just do, I would add to that smudging thing. You can just do like a little meditation. Just find your breath within that chakra breathing. And just find your, your inner peace and your stillness, which is amazing. Again, blessing your food with gratitude. And it says it, it enables you to absorb its highest vibration of the nutrients. And also give gratitude to people that you meet too, um, as that links you to the last one. It's just like, thank you so much. It was so lovely connecting with you today. And even if you're not a, a shaker, I'm a hugger. If it's like a perfect stranger, I always do. I got this from a friend. I put a hand over my heart and I just do like a little bow. Or I'll just do this. Or I do, I don't know. I just do this thing with my hands, right? Just thank you. So just show gratitude and those are your five lovely lovely sage goddess rituals that you can just become the best you that you can be in tune your mind and your body and your soul i love you so much love peace and happiness to you all today